So, how does Sketchbook compare to the open source juggernaut that is Krita? You won't have to ask for much longer, as we're about to take a look. Sketchbook is a sketching, the painting and illustration software designed for most platforms. It is available for computers on both Windows and Mac. Uh, there is also an iOS and Android version available as well. Sketchbook is designed to try and simulate working on, you'll never guess, a sketchbook. <laughs> like the physical paper object. In order to achieve this, the brushes and pens are made to behave like the physical counterparts. Uh, to this end, they succeeded in making the brushes feel smooth as butter. <laughs> and to keep in the spirit of a true sketchbook, the interface is very simple and unobtrusive. It has what you would expect from any illustration software with layers and blending modes, but it's doing its best to keep the interface as minimal as possible. It also provides many brush variants that simulate all sorts of traditional textures such as pencils, markers, airbrushes, paints, and many more. These brushes also happen to be highly customizable so you can alter them to best suit your style. It also provides all the usual fill and gradient tools and as you'd expect from something that originated from Autodesk even though it's no longer supported by them, they put heavy emphasis on precision. It comes with traditional rulers, ellipses, and French curves to best assist you. And it even has a stroke tool which serves a similar purpose to stabilizers. Not to forget the dynamic vertical, horizontal, and radial symmetry tools. The beauty of this program comes in its simplicity. It's made to serve, as its namesake, a sketchbook. It doesn't come with an overwhelming amount of features, but it is by design. The experience is much more similar to illustrating on paper. And to add to that, the app version is free, so you won't even have to go out of your way in order to try it out. But if you want to have it on your desktop or laptop, it will cost you around 20 US dollars. Uh, keep in mind, prices are eligible to change depending on when you watch this video. But for $20, it's honestly very affordable for what it is. Alright, so frequent dwellers of this channel would be no strangers to Krita, and uh, similar to Sketchbook, Krita is a software capable of dabbling into multiple forms of visual media that focus primarily on sketching, painting, and illustration. Except this program has the advantage of being much more friendly to your wallet by virtue of costing a whopping zero dollars as it is open source, part of the contract. Uh, this applies to both the app and the computer versions, assuming you download it from the official website. If you were to check the stores in Google Play or even Steam or Epic, you might find that Krita has a price, but it is always available on the official website for free on all platforms. Now, Krita is slightly more uh, overwhelming than Sketchbook. It's jam-packed with all sorts of different tools and interfaces that would suit your different needs. Chief among them is obviously painting. For that purpose, it will provide you with probably more brushes than you would ever use, <laughs> as they are supported by nine different brush engines. So essentially, you can replicate any texture regardless of complexity. Uh, painting, well, color theory in specific, is rendered far simpler thanks to its integrated color wheel. The fact that the color selector is a triangle over for other shapes makes that big of a difference. That is a hill that I'm willing to die on. Among the other stuff that you can do with this app is animation, with an entirely dedicated interface complete with a timeline that supports all basic features in keyframes and customizable onion skinning. It is worth noting that it is designed with frame by frame animation in mind as a primary focus. However, if you are willing to jump through <laughs> probably far too many hoops, you would be able to achieve a puppet animation through the use of folders and hierarchy. Krita also comes with features that are more graphic design focused. You are able to use vector layers and have access to text tools, uh, so there's that. Uh, but you may also be able to create visual novels in all of their forms thanks to the multitude of shape tools that even include customizable speech bubbles. Even though Krita offers so many different features, its interface is still very clear and easy to read and get used to. Uh, it's clean, uncluttered, and simple to understand for any skill level. For a free app, it's not only able to compete, but even keep up with the industry giants. The heck, if you have the skill, you may even code what you find lacking into it as well. <laughs> it's a great tool for any sort of visual mediums, rendered even better thanks to its accessibility. What about the learning curve? 
<laughs> well, this section won't be very long since both programs are extremely easy to learn. Uh, that said, pack up, nothing to add here. <laughs> Jokes aside though, there really isn't much to say about the learning curve of these programs. They are both very similar in that they have an objective that they work to achieve and they do it without veering too much into other directions. Sketchbook is an app for sketching, period. So it just offers you the tools that you need to do that in as concise of a manner as possible. And even though Krita does dabble into other mediums, it still keeps everything at simple enough level to serve as a perfect introduction for beginners while maintaining enough complexity to serve the industry professional. TLDR, they are both as simple as they come to learn and use, but if we had to pick a winner, I, I guess it would have to be Sketchbook since it has less things to learn essentially. Now for the pros and cons, and this is where things go a bit sideways. <laughs> for one program more than the other, spoiler alert. Starting with Sketchbook, uh, its best virtue is its simplicity, but in these situations it's also the program's downfall. Now there's nothing wrong with being in specialized illustration sketching software, and if you are using it on tablets then even better since you are not paying for it. However, when it comes to non-tablet users uh, for the same price, there are many programs that are capable of way more. Case in point, Krita. <laughs> but if you are not bothered by the fact that it will eventually become rather limiting, then Sketchbook is still a great option for sketching on the go and keeping the process simple. You won't get caught in messing around with too many tools and you can just focus on the fundamentals and best putting your ideas on paper. As for Krita, in this particular context, there isn't very many if any bad things to mention here. The app is very easy to learn, accessible to absolutely anyone. It doesn't have a demanding hardware requirement and serves as a great introductory point for many different forms of visual expression. <laughs> what is there not to like really? You are even allowed to alter and add on to it since its source code is freely accessible. Krita is a highly rated and has a very dedicated community of users and developers, which makes it even more accessible to learn thanks to the abundance of educational resources. Alright, so I am usually an advocate of use whatever you like or what suits your process best. Nothing is ever a clear black and white conversation and there is nuance to absolutely everything. And here comes the but. <laughs> In this instance, again, Rita just has much more going for it, especially for computer users, as it offers way more for far less. But even if we're just purely talking tablets, Sketchbook's interface is simpler for a smaller screen, but again, Krita just offers more. It has to be the winner by a landslide. <laughs> Unless, and I say this with a big asterisk, you are looking for a program to use on your iPad on the go without too much brain power. That's when I'd recommend Sketchbook. Other than that, I really can't recommend it over Krita with a good consciousness just for the sheer number of features that separate the two. And with that, as I wipe the sweat off my eyebrow, that would be the end of our adventure here. I realized that it might have been a harsher ending than usual, and for that, I would like to ask you to let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you used any of these software before? And if you did, please, please share your thoughts with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're at it. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you soon, so do take care. Bye!